Well, gotta go do some research in the next video. Wow, that's interesting. I can't believe it looked like that. I wonder what it looks like now. What? Hello my fellow Real fans, the Chicago Real fan here, and welcome to another episode of the Chicago Abandoned Railroad. This series will showcase locations of rail lines and stations that no longer exist. Keep in mind that some of these locations are not 100% accurate and that the information I got are from sources linked in the description down below. I personally, though, have drawn the lines and placed on the markers myself. For now, we will cover the Chicago L, now the CTA, resuming back to the south side elevated, move west to the Englewood branches. In 1903, a franchise was granted to the south side rapid transit to create a branch line to roughly around the area of the current Ashland 63rd branch. And another branch of that, south, here, which would be known as the Nor Park branch. This franchise was given to the Englewood Elevated Railroad Company. They would operate the branch line as a shuttle service to 58. However, the company would be controlled by the Southside Rapid Transit. In November of 1905, the first phases of the Englewood branch was from south of 59th to State, right here, where shuttle service would go to 58 over here, where passengers be transferred to the Southside Elevated Main Line to the Loop. The next month, service to Wentworth started, and so did Princeton. But then a steelworkers strike delayed the construction in 1906. So the Harvard line was opened in November of that year. And so the rapid expansion continued with a new stop opening every month, with the exception of the Loomis terminal here, which took slightly a little bit longer along with the maintenance yard and everything, which by then was completed in 1907. From then on, it was just shuttle service from Loomis down to 58th where the trains would terminate and passengers would simply transfer. However, in 1911, the trains were allowed to continue further down to the loop on their own. The area here that the Englewood branch served was a shopping district on the south side, particularly around Halstead, right around here. Moving east, the Parnell Station also served another place. This is this is location of the Chicago and Western Indiana 63rd Street Station, which is now abandoned. Here's a photograph of the Parnell Station here. It's a bit blurry here considering the image was a bit small. On the top here, you have the elevated station where the um, trains would have gone to the loop. And on the bottom here, you have the Chicago and Western Indiana Station back when it was well, not abandoned. And you can see right around here is the station house, which doesn't exist. And basically the remnants are basically just the bridge and the, the shelter over here. Not much happened to the branch until about 1949, where Princeton and Parnell were demolished, and, well, closed, due to low ridership. About 20 years later, in 1969, the line was extended just a little bit to Ashland 63rd, which meant that the Loomis Terminal had to be demolished and replaced with this one here. The rest of the stations, though, were closed due to budget cuts. First was the State 59th Station in 1973, and then Harvard and Wentworth in 1992. At this point, the branch line had been renamed the Ashland 63rd Branch and also been part of the Green Line. In the 1994-96 rehab, though, Racine Station would, would close and sadly not reopen. However, the place is still preserved to this day as a historic place. 
which basically what brings us to the branch line of today. However, we have yet to mention the Noah Park branch. Created in May of 1907, the branch line was approved to go as far as 72nd Street, which would have likely added one more stop to the former branch line. However, it just ended at 69th, with two other stops here at 65th and Marquette, which was known as 67th at the time. <coughs> the, the traffic around this area was mostly from the Chicago Normal School, which was a teacher's college uh, around the area around here. I'm not sure exactly. The branch line saw some service to Ravenswood until 1947 when it was resumed for shuttle service, which basically ended at Hartford right here. The line saw ridership on the decline, and then on January 29, 1954, the line was closed and demolished in the summer of that year. Here's a photograph of um, the 69th station on the Noel Park branch. Well, you get one on top of the station here. The, the last photograph you probably saw at the beginning of the video was uh, on the ground level. But here, you have two platforms here and basically just where the trains would go. You can see off into the distance where the line turns to, to Marquette and eventually to Harvard. Little remains of the small branch line since. And with that, we have arrived at the end of the video. Tune in for the last part of the south side elevated when we look over the stockyard branches. Before we disembark, please like and subscribe. It costs nothing for you and it helps me out. Until then, this is the Chicago Roll Fan, departing and signing out.